take away your skin, bones, muscles, ligaments, and joints and organs. What remains is an elaborate communication system that allows information to travel throughout the human body. In this Psychedemia episode, I explore the nervous system. What is the function of the nervous system? Our awareness of the world around us is possible because of the nervous system, a network of fibers that transmit neural impulses throughout our body and control both voluntary and involuntary actions. Voluntary actions are activities you purposely do and think about, like running, turning your head, or sitting. Involuntary actions are things you don't even realize are happening, like breathing and digestion. Despite its complexity, these neural impulses within the nervous system can only travel in one direction, either to the brain or away from the brain. Consequently, our body needs two types of nerves. One set of nerves takes information to the brain. These are called afferent or sensory neurons. You can remember this by a or at the brain. Another set of nerves takes information away from the brain to the rest of the body. These are called efferent or motor neurons. You can remember this by e or exit the brain. It is important to note that once information reaches the brain or spinal cord, interneurons relay this information to other parts of the brain, or back down efferent neurons. What is the difference between the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system? Our nervous system is divided into two categories, the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. Both the brain and spinal cord are encased in bone, i.e. the skull and vertebrae, which signifies the evolutionary importance of the CNS. They are more protected than any other part of the human body. Our brain controls thoughts, emotions, motor function, perception, and organs, while our spinal cord supports communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Any damage to the spinal cord can result in nerve damage, or even worse, paralysis, resulting in a loss of muscle function in part of your body. The second category, or peripheral nervous system, consists of all the nerves in the human body outside of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system connects the central nervous system to all the organs and muscles and then relays that information back and forth. The peripheral nervous system is first divided into the somatic system and autonomic system. Our somatic system controls voluntary movements, like kicking a soccer ball or lifting your arm. It receives messages from the motor cortex of the brain. On the other hand, our autonomic system controls automatic or involuntary functions, like digestion, breathing, and heart rate. It also responds to stress and threats from the environment. Check your understanding of the somatic and autonomic nervous system. Pause the video here, read the question, and choose the best answer. The answer is C, somatic. Remember, Somatic is too voluntary as autonomic is too involuntary. How does the nervous system help us respond to a perceived threat in the environment? Returning to the diagram, the autonomic system is further divided into two divisions or branches, the sympathetic branch and parasympathetic branch. The sympathetic branch prepares the body for stress and what is known as the fight or flight response. The sympathetic branch sends messages to the rest of the body to prepare for an immediate threat. It dilates the pupils, increases heart rate, speeds up breathing, and generally excites the body. After the threat is perceived to be gone, the parasympathetic branch returns the body to homeostasis, contracting the pupils, lowering the heart rate, slowing breathing, and generally calming the body. As a memory technique, think about a parachute slowly bringing you back down to earth. Lastly, what is a reflex arc? Interestingly, not everything we do as human beings requires thought. We possess certain reflexes, which are involuntary, almost instantaneous movements in response to a stimulus, like pain. After stepping on a nail, for example, sensory neurons reach the spinal cord first, automatically causing your foot to move without thought. Your brain is only aware of this event after the fact. Why, you may ask? Because it's faster and aids in our survival. You can thank evolution for this one. This also occurs with temperature, like touching the flame of a candle. 
Scientists call this neural pathway between sensory, motor, and interneurons a reflex arc. Today, researchers are still uncovering the mysteries of the nervous system, like how to repair nerves after spinal cord injury using stem cells. Researchers are also investigating treatments and cures to various neurological disorders, like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Tourette's syndrome, and ALS. Check your understanding of the nervous system. Pause the video here and try to fill in the blanks. If you had any trouble filling in the blanks, rewind the video and continue to review.